This is Warren Jeffs, the leader of a polygamous cult. He's rumoured to have at least 80 wives, over 200 children, and some 10,000 followers who consider him a prophet. But he's also on the FBI's most wanted list with a bounty on his head. The man is a despot, the man is a criminal, and we have not been successful in locating him. He's wanted for charges of arranging marriages between underage girls and older married men. And now, Jeff's nephew is alleging that he was raped by him when he was five. He said this is God's will and this is a way for you to become a man. More, officials believe that he might sacrifice his followers in a Waco-style suicide pact. Jeff's has stockpiled weapons, thousands of rounds of ammunition and dynamite. He's on the run. But where is the man with 80 wives? My name's Sanjiv. I'm a British journalist, but I live in LA. In the last two years, I've become obsessed with the search for Warren Jeffs. The FBI consider him to be a sexual deviant and a criminal. But 10,000 people consider him to be in direct contact with God. So if nothing else, he's one of the most misunderstood men out there and I want to find out who he is. I've been investigating the story and I know that the 50-year-old has proclaimed himself prophet of a polygamous group called the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or the FLDS. The group broke away from the mainstream Mormon church in 1890. That many wives, that many children, that many cousins. Somebody's got to know where he is. There's got to be a crack in that armour somewhere. What kind of a man has got 80 wives? Just who is the real Warren Jeffs? There's only one way to find out. I'm off to track him down. Warren Jeffs hasn't been seen in public for over a year. He could be anywhere in America. My first port of call is the last place Jeffs was spotted, the home of the cult. Six and a half hours from LA and straddling the border between Utah and Arizona are the twin towns of Colorado City and Hilldale, known jointly as Short Creek. Although polygamy is illegal, I know that the cult has been in the town for so long that even the police, the schools and the hospitals are run by Warren's followers. And they don't like outsiders. I've got to say, I feel a little nervous. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to make of me. I don't think um, that many brown people <laughs> with English accents turn up in Short Creek. I quickly realise that this is a very different town to any other in America. All the girls are dressed up like, um, like Little House on the Prairie. All that's missing are the covered wagons. And within five minutes of being there, two pickup trucks start tailing me. They've been following us for about the last mile, these, this truck turned round, I saw my rear view mirror and has been following us ever since. I wonder whether... Why has he done that? New pickup truck. He's just pulled his visor in front of his face to cover his face. Why is he doing that? Is he boxing us in or... Should I continue? I don't understand. Why is he doing that? Why is he blocking us in? It's quite aggressive, really. Yeah. 
You know, it's funny, people following you is enough to make you paranoid. <laughs> I can't believe I've travelled all this way and already the local are being so hostile. I decide to call it a day and for now I leave town. I'm not giving up on my search. The next day I head back into Short Creek to find out more about the community. I know that the polygamist FLDS have lived here for 75 years, relatively untroubled by the law. In a community of 10,000, there are only 12 surnames. I decide to try my luck speaking to the townsfolk about their profit. Hello, sir. We're making a film about Warren Jeffs. Is that a yes? I heard. Why? Warren Jeffs took control of the cult in 2002. When charges were brought against him in June 2005, he'd already vanished from public for six months. But he still plays an important part in his followers' lives. He's like God to us. Like God as any man on earth. He has the attributes of God. Which, it, what does that mean to you? What does that mean to me? Yeah. He's like our Savior. He's like Jesus Christ. It's clear that although Warren Jeffs is in hiding, he hasn't lost control of the town. Now, there are reports that he's kicking people out of the cult. And even worse, rumours of abuse. I'm determined to stay and find out more. Short Creek, a town of 10,000 people on the border between Utah and Arizona. I'm here on the search for Warren Jeffs, a polygamous cult leader whom the locals revere as a god. I'm keen to find out how a man can control a whole town. One polygamist has agreed to meet me. Marvin Wyler's known Warren all his life, but he decided to leave the group when Warren became prophet. Come on in, how are you guys? Very good, thanks. Very good. Marvin tells me that when Warren's father Prophet Rulon Jeffs died in 2002. Warren sees control of the community and his father's 50 odd wives. Warren says, All you men keep your hands off these ladies. And then the next thing I know, why he was marrying as many of them as he could. His Remember, father's wives? His father's wives. How many of his father's wives did he marry? I would guess 10. Have you met any of Warren's wives? Well, I knew some before they were married to him. Oh, but once they were married, then you never saw them never again? Could, uh, never could talk to them again much after that. What were they like, the ones that you knew? Well, very nice ladies, very good. They got the cream of the crop, so to speak. Just this, this, this the ones that were sweet and would be perfectly obedient in all things. What do you mean sweet when you say sweet? Obedient. <laughs> sweet means obedient, does it? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Marvin's left the group but he still lives polygamy with three wives, 34 children, and 110 grandchildren. He tells me that the FLDS practice plural marriage because they believe it's the key to being a god in the next life. 